Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a video recording on the EM1 camera. So this video is going to cover the basics of video recording with the camera. And also it's going to cover advanced topics such as cropping. So to start off, this camera is extremely convenient in terms of video recording. It's got one record button on the top of the camera. And pressing that would immediately take you to record mode. Such. Right now it's recording at 4K with 30 frames per second. In terms of file format, it records at 8 megabytes per second. And it also records at with the codec H264. The screen doesn't flip over, but it is a touch sensitive screen. When you're recording, however, focusing is done automatically. The touch screen is disabled. I also like to note that while it's on the top, there is a horseshoe for a flash, say a flash. There is no 3.5 millimeter audio connectors. So if you're looking for an external mic, you have to sync that separately. In terms of manual settings while it's recording, there is a manual mode but only for the camera only. That means when you're taking a video, the cam you'll have to trust the camera to do your exposure settings. There is absolutely no manual mode for video recording. That said, the camera does handle contrast and exposure correction pretty well. In terms of ISO, you cannot adjust it whilst um, in video mode. So pretty much, you expect everything to be automated, fully automated with this camera. As when I'm doing this, I'm on version 1.0.15 of the firmware. E does update its firmware frequently, so do expect some updates on this later. Talking about the sensor, it is the, so the latest Sony IMX 269 sensor, and it's the same sensor found on the much more expensive Olympus Pen F and the GX9. The difference is that with the E camera, there is no in body stabilization. That means you're going to have to rely on the lens to stabilize your shot, and the body will do nothing. There is electronic stabilization, but that's pretty weak. Now let's talk about crop. So when you, when you, when you turn on the video mode, you'll actually see that it crops the image. It crops both the height and the width. From my independent analysis, I come to a conclusion that it crops the height by 83% and it crops the width by 63%. So you end up with around 50% less area for your video. This is an important factor to consider when you're buying your lens because it's an additional crop factor on top of the micro four thirds crop factor. I'm here to report that I've um, started to use Panasonic lenses with these and they work pretty amazingly. In the videos that I've shown, there's a little bit of a wobble. That's because E Technologies is actually mainly focused on action cameras. The first previous cameras were all kind of GoPro type cameras. So their videos kind of geared towards that. I do expect to see some changes on firmware and hopefully the video quality will improve. That's pretty much what I find, um, what I found with using this camera for video. It's pretty straightforward, it's very geared towards beginners. So that's my personal view of this. It seems to be geared towards beginners, but it also has a great sensor to take amazing shots. If you guys have any additional questions about recording videos, please shoot them down below and I'll try to answer them as much as possible. Remember to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching.